Hi students, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we frog respiratory system. If you like this channel, please like and share it. So, generally, frog uh, can respire in water and land also. So, we will talk about BNs. So, but tadpole the tadpole larvas, and frog larvas stay safe, they can only respire with the gills. That's why that is called as branchial respiration. So, but adult lifestyle, Adult lifestyle and frog adult lo manaki three types of respiratory pathways unta. Okati vati lo cutaneous respiration unta. Cutaneous respiration. Cutaneous respiration eppudu koda skin thote with the help of skin. Skin help thote jarge thote thote Skin respirate art dhanga panje se thote thote cutaneous respiration. Then second thing, second mode of respiration that is Bako pharyngeal respiration. Bako pharyngeal respiration. So, bako pharyngeal respiration. And third thing, which is normal pulmonary respiration. So, pulmonary respiration. So, these are the three methods normally present in a frog respiratory system. So, bako pharyngeal respiration by the buccal cavity. Buccal cavity health thoti karutna. So pulmonary respiration through the lungs. Lungs thoti, lungs parts better, lungs bakko ante buccal cavity, pharyngeal ante pharyngeal, pharynx region. Bakko pharyngeal cavity yade thom do, mane kuch space ni create just thom thom. So suppose the diagram choose nat lai the. Ikada, idhi frog mouth thom thom na, idhi respiratory tract, idhi thom nostrils thom thom. So ikada choose nat lai the meko. This particular root is esophagus digestive system like this, this particular root is the lungs. Here is the hired operators. So, in this case, we have to choose the muscles in the buccal So, first type of muscles is the sternohyal muscles. Sternohyal muscles are involved. The second thing is the terohyal muscles. Tero Hyal muscles. These two types of muscles are involved in the buccopharyngeal respiration. Suppose if a frog in a relaxed stage, water surface pine, or lay the bite on a puddle, the mouth and the chala of the close a point in the nostrils, matro open and the nostrils to nasal chamber, a wee pharynx local key, lay the buccal cavity local key, air in drag chest to unte. So, I love no puddle, and a frog mouth close, external nostrils. Then uh, nasal chamber, internal nostrils, there are air and the buccal cavity question. Lungs are always remain the same, we put all around it. But uh, air and the buccal cavity question, buccal cavity also contains some mucous uh, membrane. So this muc mucous membrane also contains some normal blood vessels, uh, blood capillaries, so the like skin pain, the buccal cavity could have a supply. And around it, the air could go to diffusion or both inspiration and expression and everything. Inspiration process of the sternohyal muscles contract out. Expression of the at the same time exchange and the hypo once foul air is the CO2 is the sternohyal muscles relax and the terohyal muscles contract out. The terohyal muscles contract out and the buccal cavity space reduce out and the pressure increase out. Space reduce the pressure increase out and the local air and the external nostrils are CO2 नुँच्छी बाइट केल पोथुँद। So, इला आंटी respiration significance येंदे येंटे, इपड़े एन वाट सर्फेस पैन फ्रॉग एला वलतुन अप्डु, क्रॉल वलतुन अप्डु, आयक माउथ इए बकल कैविटी रीजन वर्कु पैन उँच्छी चेसुन, अलाने resting position वन अप्डु गोड चेसुन। Metabolic activities are high in the air and water. We are going to choose this anti-respiration. So these are the two respirations. So one is cutaneous respiration, skin is going to be done. Second one is buccopharyngeal respiration. Two muscles are going to be done. Sternohyal muscles and terohyal muscles. So we are going to talk about the pulmonary respiration in detail in this video. Thank you for watching.